Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Saturday, July the 8th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. We are in the season of the church year called After Pentecost, the Saturday before the Sunday known as Proper Nine, and in the year A, the first year of the three-year cycle. And we have three readings, as always. It will begin with Psalm 145, verses 8 to 14. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his mercy, mercy is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to the children of man your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and kind in all his works. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. Our reading from the Old Testament comes from the book of the prophet Zechariah. We go to the fourth chapter and we'll read verses 1 to 7 from there. The prophet writes, And the angel who talked with me came again and woke me, like a man who is awakened out of his sleep, and he said to me, What do you see? I said, I see, and behold, a lampstand, all of gold, and a bowl on top of it, and seven lamps on it, with seven lips on each of the lamps that are on top of it. And there are two olive trees by it, one on the right of the bowl, and the other is on its left. And I said to the angel who talked with me, What? are these my lord then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me do you not know what these are i said no my lord then he said to me this is the word of the lord to zerubbabel not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the lord of hosts who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel you shall become a plain, and he shall bring forward the top stone amid shouts of grace, grace to it. Our final reading from the New Testament comes from the Gospel according to Luke. We go to chapter 10, and we will read verses 21 to 24. In that same hour... Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one, who, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is, except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then, turning to the disciples, Jesus said privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Gracious Heavenly Father, this is your eternal word. May we be grateful for your generous provision to us and grant through the power of your Holy Spirit that your word may be written in our minds, on our hearts, in our very souls, wherein it can achieve in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning king. Dear friends, thank you for taking some time out of your schedules to listen to 
the words of scripture being read. I am so appreciative of you being here. And if you're here hearing these words, you've made it almost to the end. And that's a wonderful thing. I have taken the references to the passages that I've read and the alternate passages that appear in the lectionary for today. And I've recorded them in the uh, description portion of this video so that you can have them to refer to and do some reading and study and meditation on your own. And I encourage you to do that until we can be together again tomorrow to encounter the Word of God uh, for that day as laid out in the lectionary. I bid you go in the peace of the Lord.